is nine minutes past nine. The Metropolitan Police has issued an apology after its investigation into an alleged VIP paedophile ring was heavily criticised by a review. Sir Richard Enriquez said officers were too quick to believe accusations by Carl Beach, who was later jailed for lying, found that search warrants were obtained unlawfully. The former Conservative MP Harvey Proctor was among those who were falsely accused. He joins us now from Maha London Newsroom. Good morning to you, Harvey Proctor. Thank you very much for talking to us on breakfast this morning. Um, can you tell us about what happened when you were investigated? Good morning to you and thank you for the invitation to come on your programme. Uh, the question is a short one. The answer could take many hours. Um, I have been under the cosh or truncheon of the Metropolitan Police for nearly five years now. Uh, it is very harrowing to be investigated or to be the centre um, of such an investigation for so long and the ramifications of it. But as people know in um, shorthand, um, what happened to me was that I um, lost my job, my home and my repute as a result of a fantasist who were believed by the Metropolitan Police and who castigated his comments as credible and true when they were neither credible or true. They were untrue and they were incredible. And any common sense person would realise that what he was saying was not Credible. Well, to pick you up on the, you know, the, use, the use of the word credible, that is the word the Metropolitan Police have said they found Carl Beach to be, what holes in his story do you think could have been picked up on earlier? Well, quite clearly, the Metropolitan Police lied to a district judge to get search warrants to search my house and that of Lord Bramall and Lady Britain's houses. Uh, there were numerous contradictions um, before the application for the search warrants and they were not deployed before the district judge. For example, uh, they lied about who went to Mr Beach. They said that he went to the police in 2014. He didn't. They went to him. They didn't look at the previous interviews he did with Wiltshire police uh, when he made allegations of s similar but slightly different um, um, allegations. So there were all sorts of things uh, that the police could do, could have done, that they didn't do. Uh, clearly they didn't look at his mother's interviews uh, much earlier, which cast doubt on his um, story. Um, I should say the Metropolitan Metropolitan Police um, have given us a very uh, a lengthy statement, but I, I, do, I do need to give some right of reply here. Um, the Metropolitan Police um, has said there is no evidence or the independent Office for Police Conduct Investigation, um, which has concluded, has said the allegations made were grave, uh, were, Nick made were grave and warranted investigation. We believe those involved in applying for the search warrant acted with due diligence and in good faith. At the time, there is no evidence to indicate bad faith, malice or dishonesty, no indication any of the officers may have behaved in a manner which would justify disciplinary proceedings. Um, the, I, the IOPC is not an organisation fit for purpose to control and in interrogate the Metropolitan Police. Um, if you want to give the right of reply, could I suggest your programme invites Cressida Dick, the current commissioner, who lied on radio recently about these matters, well, onto your programme to question her about her lies on Operation Midland and why she's made those lies. Could I suggest that you uh, get in touch with your Home Affairs correspondent for the BBC, okay. who messed up, the pr uh, messed up potentially the investigation into um, Mr Beach and as Enrique said, by showing photographs to Mr Beach of children that I'm supposed to have murdered could have um, got in the way of any, um, Proctor, of any criminal uh, okay. um, action that was taken you. against I'm me. Going to now, it's all right, you talk here across me, no, no, but that's because the BBC are very sensitive no, no, no. about any criticism whatsoever that may come your way. I will continue and you're not this conversation. By talking across me, you're not really 
doing uh, what the BBC should do, and that is to give a right to comment. And you're very sensitive about this. I understand that. I understand the BBC is sensitive in view of the criticism that not just the police but the BBC uh, has received in Henrique's report um, yesterday. The IOPC has also found out there was no evidence regarding lying or deliberate wrongdoing by Cressida Dick, as you have just said. They uh, also no, looked no, no, at no, the no, no, conduct. No, sorry, they also sorry, looked sorry, at the... Please, sorry, let, sorry. Me, please let me talk and no, I will let you talk. You're, this is you're how you're this now, works. You're, 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 you've just said that the IOPC have found no evidence of Cressida Dick lying. Hold on. The IOPC have not interviewed Cressida Dick. Okay. They didn't know that she was involved. In fact, Sir Richard Enriquez didn't know that she was involved. She wasn't interviewed by Sir Richard Enriquez. Invite Cressida Dick onto your programme. Invite me onto the programme too, and let's have a debate about it. She um, won't come. Sir Richard has also... I want, to, I want to get to how this has impacted you, but I need to do my job as well and uh, well, say Sir Richard, I, I, Sir I Richard has criticised... I respect your work. I respect your work very much, but you must not interview... Uh, you must not in, invite people onto your programme and then not allow them to speak. I am allowing you to speak and I will allow you to speak. You are but now, I also but you need to, before. I also need to give a right of reply rather than letting you say things that are potentially incorrect or when people don't have a right to reply. I, I'm so sorry, Richard I'm, not, also... I'm not having this. I'm sorry. Harvey Proctor, thank you for your time. Harvey Proctor, former, former Conservative MP, and I think what's made very clear there is the impact that this investigation has had on his life, as he said at the very beginning, um, how it's impacted on his life. Harvey Proctor talking to us this morning, former Conservative MP. Yes, uh, clear from that, obviously uh, a story that's affected him very personally, and uh, let's have a look at the time now. 16 minutes past nine.